I think the most common misunderstanding about female sexual medicine for female patients um, is that it actually plays a role in the doctor's office. Um, I think that many of them say, well, this isn't a medical problem, or if they have other medical problems that seem more pressing, for example, my cancer patients, um, they're not gonna believe it's, a, it's something that should be addressed or could be addressed within the physician's office. Women typically don't think about their sexual function. In reality, is there food on the table? Do the kids have clean clothes? Um, am I gonna get to work on time? their sexual function becomes secondary, and we sort of drive it down and don't make it important. And we have the definitions of sexual dysfunction that require distress, and these aren't, dis these th unless a woman is trying to maintain a relationship and can't because she has no interest in sex or she has pain, uh, typically she just sort of powers through everything um, and doesn't have distress about her sexual dysfunction. Well, for a long time, there has been a common idea that sex just isn't that important to women. Just, yeah, women want to cuddle, they want intimacy, so they will not easily seek help in case of arousal or orgasm problems. Well, it's just not that important to them. And why would women consult a medical doctor when there's not much medication available to treat female sexual problems, especially when you compare it to all possible medical aids in men? Well, first of all, sex is important to women and it's becoming increasingly more important. We need to strive towards gender equality, which means that also women can find their way into sexual medicine because women also want to pursue orgasm. They want pleasurable sex. Common misunderstandings for patients about female sexual dysfunction is that nothing can be done to help it, or maybe this is not just a natural thing I have to live with, or that the physician might be ashamed if I start talking about sexuality. A lot of that is resulting from women not talking to each other about this, but also about the fact that our treatments are so relatively new. Many women experience sexual dysfunction and think they're unique that other people don't have these problems. And I think it's really a misperception on their part because they're very common problems among women, particularly at certain ages or in certain settings. So if we can get the message out and educate women that sexual dysfunction is something to talk about with their provider because it's a common problem and that there are interventions that are available that may help them, I think we're going to see women be a lot happier. This is the time to use the internet, find someone who has expertise, continue to be your best advocate and seek help. Um, don't accept one person saying there's nothing we can do because just because someone has an MD or a PA or an NP after the name does not mean that they know everything. Mm -hmm.